Chceť sedieť, či nesedieť? To je otázka. Či si to uvedomujeme, alebo nie, je to otázka života a smrti. Ahojte, volám sa Michal Duchoň a som výkonný riaditeľ firmy Neseda, spoločnosti, ktorá robí túto krásnu stoličku, ktorá je perfektne dizajnovaná na menenie pozícií. Prečo meniť pozície? Jednoducho sedieť menej a hýbať sa viac. Veríme, že najlepšia a najzdravšia poloha je vždy tá ďalšia. Ale ak budeme sedieť v rovnakej pozícii 4 hodiny denne, potom v Houston máme problém. Aby ste pochopili rozsah problému, náklady súvisiace so sedavým životným štýlom boli 67,5 miliardy amerických dolárov. K tomu Svetová zdravotnícká organizácia odhaduje, že z dôvodu sedavého životného štýlu ročne zomrie 5 miliónov ľudí, čo je iba o milión menej ako z dôvodu fajčenia. Takže po dvoch rokoch vývoja sme toto leto dokončili súčasnú verziu stoličky Neseda. Stolička bola certifikovaná a sme držiteľmi práv duševného vlastníctva na jej originálny dizajn. Predali sme prvých 100 kusov s minimálnym marketingovým úsilím našim zákazníkom zo Slovenska, Českej republiky, Polska, Nemecka a Holandska. S rastúcim dopytom rozširujeme naše marketingové aktivity a produkciu. Náš cieľ je skutočne odvážny a to dosiahnuť príjmy v celkovej výške 1 milión eur v roku 2018 na európskom trhu a vstúpiť na globálny trh v roku 2019 a dosiahnuť príjmy 5 miliónov eur v roku 2020. Spomínali ste zdravie. Kto o tom rozhoduje? Kto môže povedať, že táto stolička je zdravie prospešná? A ako vám môže zákazník veriť, že je to pravda? Ďakujem veľmi pekne za otázku, Martina. Jeden zo spoluzakladateľov je Vlado Zlatoš, odborník na pohyb na Slovensku a ja som tiež pôvodne tréner. Začali sme takou vecou, že sme pozorovali u našich klientov, že aj keď je sedenie skutočne rovné, skracuje bedrový sval, čo spôsobuje ďalšie zdravotné problémy. Takže sme si to uvedomili a tiež existujú ďalší svetoví experti, ako napríklad Kelly Starer a iní, ktorí tvrdia, že neexistuje nič také ako najzdravšia pozícia. Pokiaľ ste v jednej polohe príliš dlho, je to nezdravé. Je to rovnaké ako alkohol. He's a diligent workaholic. Well, a very strong and a moving lion. Well, uh, if I really have to f focus, I go for some movie soundtracks and I put them on loop. So it's like... Well, the chairs scare me. Like, you know, the, the old type that makes people sit. <laughs> Maybe you won't mask, because it's crazy. I was writing my uh, master thesis on uh, alternatives to venture capital. It was in German. Yeah. <laughs> in five years, I'm gonna stay the same fit, but uh, wiser, more experienced. Man, like uh, yesterday. <laughs> to sit or not to sit? <laughs> That is the question. Whether we realize it or not, it is a life or death question. Hi, my name is Michal Luchon. And I'm the CEO of Neseda, the company that makes this beautiful chair specifically designed for switching positions. Why switch positions? Simply to sit less and move more. We believe that the best and healthiest sitting position is... Could you 
always the next one. <laughs> but if we stay in the same sitting position for hours a day, well, Houston, we have a problem. To give you a sense of the problem, the global costs of sedentary lifestyle in 2013 were 67.5 billion US dollars. Moreover, World Health Organization estimated that sedentary lifestyle accounts for 5 million deaths a year, only 1 million less than smoking. So, after two years of development, we finally finished the current version of Neseda this summer. It has been certified and we own the intellectual property rights for the specific design of this product. We sold the first 100 uh, chairs with little to no marketing effort uh, to, co to come to, uh, to our customers from Slovakia, the Czech Republic, Poland, Germany and the Netherlands. With growing demand, we are expanding our marketing activities and production. So our goal is pretty bold. We aim for revenue of uh, 1 million uh, euros in 2018 in the European market <coughs> to enter the global market in 2019 and to reach the revenue of 5 million euros in 2020. A chair like ours belongs to the segment of uh, premium office furniture where the market size is expected to reach 20 billion US dollars by the year 2020. So, are we going to succeed? I'm 100% positive, mainly because of our great team. Our main advantage is uh, that our co-founders are Vlado Zlatoš, movement expert and successful wellness industry innovator, and Michal Truba, uh, founder of uh, several successful tech companies. And they are also both my mentors. So believe me, it's such a great learning experience that I would do this job for free. <laughs> Fortunately, they don't know it, so please don't tell them. <laughs> well, our ideal partner is, uh, is a partner with strong ties abroad who can help us with overseas <coughs> expansion or a complementary technological company that can help us with building newer and smarter version of Neseda with sensors, collecting data and giving instant feedback via a wearable device. <laughs> so, I'm happy I have a hardware, by the way, because I don't have to rely on the technology. But anyway, <laughs> guys, remember, sit happens. It costs <laughs> us uh, health problems, work productivity, and even human rights. <laughs> but, as, but as the famous saying goes, if you want to make millions, help millions. Thank you. Uh, uh, very nice. I, I think uh, I'm gonna. Thank you. Do you do you want it instead? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna buy it. I don't need a <laughs> okay. gift. Um, thank you. But so, in your presentation, it appeared that there was no competition. That the only solution to sitting unhealthily is Neseda, and I don't believe that's true. So who do you consider to be your competitors? Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I wish there was no competition, but it's not true. But actually, we, we consider them as a healthy thing that paved our way. There is a lot of competition, believe me, in uh, office furniture, that's why it's 20 billion. So there are two types. One of is like a Spinergo, uh, Spinalis, Vertebra. These are the um, chairs that are profoundly healthy and they aim to get in offices. And another type of uh, our competition are the office uh, uh, chairs, like uh, Herman Miller, Aaron, which I'm pretty sure some of you own, and they appear to be ergonomic. So it's a lot of competition, but we are, but we are unique in this way, we provide the freedom of motion. So you don't have to balance when you don't uh, want to. It's not, a, it's not a Swiss ball. You can actually move. You can switch many positions, even while speaking. And yeah, and it looks very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was an investor in Spinalis, and uh, it's, a, it's a tough, tough, tough business. Well, we, we will have a, a talk.
<laughs> so you mentioned healthy. So who determines that? And like who helped you guys determine that this chair is actually healthy? And how do you, you know, how can a customer actually trust you that that's the case? All right. Thank, thank you for your question, Martina. So, uh, like, uh, as I said, like, uh, one of our co-founders is uh, Vlado Zlatoš, a movement expert in Slovakia, and I'm also uh, originally a trainer. So we started from the, from the thing that we observed at our clients that actually the sitting, even though it's really straight, is shortening the iliopsoas, which leads in other, uh, in other health problems. So we figured out, and there are also other world experts like Kelly Starrett and others who found out that there is no such thing as the healthiest position. As soon as you are too long there, it's unhealthy. It's the same like alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I assume people will buy this, right? Uh, excuse me? People will buy this chair. Yeah, they, they not Why? only will, but they are already buying it. Why are they buying this chair? What is the motivation for customers to buy this chair? Thank you for your question. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, will, I will be brief now. The first one is that it really, like, when you are creative and you are thinking about a problem, you really need to go in different angles. But sometimes you cannot uh, uh, simply afford to walk, so that's why you have a chair that really supports your movement, that you can actually fully adjust. So creative people and also other type of people are active sport people who do a lot of sport, but fortunately, unfortunately, they have a corporate job and they are this bound. They have to work there. So they don't want to lose the investment. They want to stretch while working. They want to... <laughs> Leave the job at the end of the day and feel better. So if it's people who are mindful about being healthy. Exactly. It's not all the people who work in a corporation, but people will probably bring their own device, but not their own chair to work. So how will you sell to companies? Uh, can, can I finish it? So yeah, we go, we go like through the cycle of innovation. We started with innovators. The next thing is that uh, we are already selling B2B for companies that are yes. arranged. That's the time. I'm yes. sorry. I will Four minutes are over. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yeah. I think this time is so blessed for the blind man. It was wonderful.